Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am Katie Stone, and this is Stone's Second Sense. Now, today I have a little something for you that I find quite comical and, well, kind of annoying. Let's dive in. Gun safety groups back Biden in 2024 with no other alternative. Yikes. Some of these advocates, however, maintain that they want to see more out of Biden administration on the matter, even as they acknowledge he is the only viable candidate for them when it comes to efforts to curb gun control. Now, the early endorsements come from four of the major groups, Every Town for Gun Safety, Brady and Team Enough, Community Justice Action Fund, and Giffords. Now, those are some of the biggest players in the anti-2A mess with the whole gun control and pushing gun control. But what I find just a little bit ridiculous is the amount of money that they are willing to put forth to just help Biden with his election when I feel like these efforts and this money could be put into many other ways to, well, actually help the root of the problem. I mean, let's take a look. The group said they plan to spend big on Biden in this election cycle. Though they wouldn't reveal details on just how much that would be for 2024. But let's take a look at this. Giffords is looking at robust numbers and plans to build on and exceed past amounts and past efforts. Ambler said, now in 2020, the group spent over $7.5 million and every town spent $55 million in 2020. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do you not see what we could do with over $60 million worth of money? We could help these areas that are suffering with this violence, get the people the help that they need, start the root cause, go deep. I mean, they will tell you that their statistics show that black and brown communities with lack of funds and the poorer communities are where they're having the most trouble with gun violence. So does anyone else see how maybe we could take some of this money, I mean, this is six, roughly $60 million. We could take some of this money, go to these towns and these cities and these areas that are struggling with this, and I don't know, start up groups to give these kids a better future or give these individuals a better future and start them out young so they have something to live for and that they don't get involved in gun violence or or turn to stealing because they don't have enough money. Why are we not investing this money to actually help with the root cause and not just, well, throw it into President Biden's election fund? Does anyone else see a problem here? Well, we've all seen Taking away firearms and putting up more gun control does not solve the problem. I mean, we've seen it time and time again. They put it in cities. They put it in California. I mean, California is a disaster when it comes to violence in general. And gun violence is just outrageous. And then you have, you have Chicago. And people are like, well, Chicago, they're getting guns from other places. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is still a crime if you're not legally allowed to have a firearm there. If you're committing a crime you're committing a crime. It doesn't matter where you get your products or where you get your firearms or where you get your ammo. If it's not legal in your area, it's crime. So you can't blame it on other states. You can't blame it on anyone else but the person or the root cause of the problem. Now, I, I don't see why we want to invest all this money or these individuals want to invest all this money in a political campaign. I think it's absolutely just bonkers and I feel like the the funds could be used in other places but then again I don't donate to these places I don't give these places money because for one try to take away the second amendment or try and put restrictions on it hurts everyone it doesn't hurt the gun violence because well they're gonna get their guns no matter what they're gonna get them from somewhere else or someone else or some other country so what you're solving here is just putting the law-abiding citizens at risk once again. I do kind of find it a little silly and quite hilarious that they say the gun safety groups are backing Biden in 2024 with no other alternative. Anyone else find that kind of hilarious? I mean, if that's the only individual who's willing to, well, take away your Second Amendment rights, 
maybe us as American people should take that as, well, we should probably look elsewhere when we're looking to vote in 2024. But everyone's entitled to their own opinion and their own vote. I just ask and wish that you all dig deep and see who and what you're actually voting for. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think that it's actually going to solve any gun violence by throwing all of this money into Biden's election campaign? Personally, I think it's absolutely ridiculous, but I've already given you my opinion. Let me know yours down in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button, please. Have a great day.